What's up everyone, Black Panda from Geek Tech Blog here. So, as you can see, here's a picture of a lion. That is all. No, it's not really. I'm going to show you around the best of lion. So, as you can see uh, from the screen, it's version 10.7. Now, since um, the new build, they've done quite a lot of changes to the more to the system profiler for the bog standard user. So, as you can see, um, we've got a Mac OS X Lion version 10.7. No updates found. And look, here you go. You can see my MacBook, and I don't even have to show you. <laughs> so you've got the displays, as you can see, it's a built-in color LCD display, and also a 13-inch display, which is awesome source for storage. As you can see, um, you've got the two partitions, which has now been split to four. Um, I'll explain in a minute. So as you can see, 10.67 uh, for audio, 10.71 of movies, that's probably all the recordings I've done on here. You've got the photos, um, no apps, well that's a lie, um, and 60 gig of weather. And as you can see, bootcamp 100 gig of weather. But of course, Mac doesn't understand Windows, in it blood, kind of thing. Um, memory, um, you can see that 2 gig has been installed and all the memory slots are currently in use and the battery oh brand new image the, fun the battery is functioning properly the battery is fully charged the charge level is 100% and it's from the power adapter let's unplug it and see if it doesn't change yes it does it changes to the picture We. so another thing is you've got the Mac OS X resources and the laptop so you can get Pick up the user manual very quickly, your specs and hardware. And then what about if your computer needs a service? All in one area. Fantastic. I sound like Steve Jobs. So, moving on to the next bit. Um, it's Launchpad and Mission Control. Let's show you Launchpad first. It's a very nice new look. And you'll probably go, wait a second, this looks familiar. Yes, that's correct, everybody. It's iOS has come to the Mac. Now, as you can see, I can click on utilities and we look at the folder. And then I unclick from the folder and it closes the folder. If you've got an iPhone, you should know what it's like. Bit pretty awesome source. So now, time to use our hands. So let's go on to Safari. So, University of Kent, my uni. Let's go on to geektechblog.com. A couple of new posts here, so I can go look at these. One issue is that it sometimes takes a little while to load, but of course it's using a WebKit 2, which is very interesting. So we've had two shares, we've had six tweets of this, so awesome source of my great fest, um, definitely worth a read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. Now you're probably going, yeah, scrolling down all hunky-dory, but I'm actually scrolling up on the um, touchpad. And when I want to go back up, I'm scrolling down. And you're probably going, wait a second, this is weird. Well, I think the issue is, well, it's not an issue, I think one of the, it's either a bug or it's a new feature, is that when I flick up, it flicks down to the bottom. When I flick down, it goes to the top of the page. And of course, you can flick left, and I go back to my original page, and flick right, and I go back to the other page I was on. So it's pretty sweet, and I think it's all cached or ready for you. Okay, so that's the new two finger features. Let's use three fingers. Push down. As you can see down at the bottom there, you've got the new dock, so I can click on like one of these, or I'll just click back on, or three fingers up, and draw in mission control. So, you can use three fingers, uh, flicking left and flicking right, to go to your other desktops, and you can click on the dashboard to get the dashboard. We have a scope board, which is not supposed to be there, but anyway, ignore that. What's also great is that when you press F3, um, 
like on the new Macs, you'll get straight to machine control. When you press F4, you should go back to your dashboard. And of course, you can then still flick left and right with the machine control. And there we are. Another nice feature, which I love, is, say if I wanted to open a bit of Minecraft, Okay, FaceTime won't work because I'm trying to record something. Okay, we'll just do Minecraft and Safari. Buy Minecraft. Advertisement. Anyway, so say I'm like, oh my god, I've got 5% battery left. I have not got my plug. But oh, I've got to close everything and I won't have time. What you do is you click on shutdown and as you can see here, there's a new box. Reopen Windows when logging back in. So I can turn off the computer or put it to sleep or hibernate, whatever you want to call it. Open it back up and everything will just reload. It's one feature Microsoft should think about. Because boy, it saved me about five minutes on boot. Trust me on that one. So that's the um, current new features which I've um, seen at the moment. So I'm going to go on to an issue which I suffered from. So, as you know, it's a beta build. I wouldn't recommend anyone getting it because I'm going to stick one line here. It's buggy. I'm not going to stress that as much longer. Don't get it because it's buggy. And secondly, it's just wrong in the first place. But if you're a pirate, ah, okay, that was wrong. Um, You'll probably find that one of the issues is the audio. Um, it's very weird for the simple reason is that when you want to play a video, you hear weird sounds and you go, wait a second, this is not right. Now I'm going to show you how to fix it. Go on to go and then go down to the utilities. Then you probably think, oh no, you would have to go on system preference and go on sound effect. No. I had a look at that and it didn't work. What you want to open is the audio MIDI setup. So when you open that up, you'll see. Okay, it's changed the bits. Okay, it's done a fix, but if you want to, um, which is best to, is to turn both channels to the two channel 32 bit float for the simple reason is that it would fix the issue straight away or as you saw the two channel 24 bit integer seems to also fix the issue but defo 32 bit float now the explanation which I've been told is that simply because now Mac OS X Lion is a 64 bit only operating system so no more power PC and also they got rid of Java so don't ask why um, so the sound works differently and of course you can configure your speakers and all that kind of stuff so the second issue which I've just mentioned is Java now they didn't add Java to um, this build nor they added Flash but if you do a straight upgrade and you've got Flash installed you'll get Flash but if you got Java installed no they won't they will take Java out and they'll like reinstall it and um, so it ensures that you when you install it on your MacBook or your Mac computer you have the latest firmware you know for Java but to be honest a user is not really gonna know what Java is they just wanna you know go on a computer and you know, on first boot and just go for what they want to do. They don't want any mucking around. So that's a note for you, Apple. So, enough of my mini rant. I will let you people go. So if you've got any questions, um, any news you, know, you can think about, like what does this feature do? Well, I've seen this feature on another video. Can you explain it any further? You can put it in the comments or add a video response. Apart from that, that's Blake Pender from Geek Tech Blog for the R site www.geektechblog.com. So until next time, see you guys later.